Hi guys, my name is Julia and I am the owner of Live and Lavish Boutique. We are an online jewelry store and we sell quality products at an affordable price. I'm going to leave all the information down below if you guys want to check it out and see the products we sell. I'm also going to leave a coupon code for you guys to use if you guys did watch this video. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome. I am back. It has been literally way too long. It's been eight months, but I'm here and I am doing a whole new video. So we're just going to jump right on into it. So in today's video, I'm basically going to talk about um, what's been going on with my business because the last video I posted was about a year ago and a lot, a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have changed, a lot of self growth, a lot of business growth. Um, a majority of it has happened in the past two months, which is crazy to think, but I'm super thankful for it. So I'm essentially going to talk about how I rebranded my business and things I learned on how to um, get my business to grow. Um, so if you guys did not know, this is what my business looked like before. This is what it looked like for the past year or so. Um, this was the branding. This was the aesthetic of my brand, my Instagram. This is what it looked like. Um, this was the logo, everything. And I wasn't really satisfied with it. Um, especially during that year, I felt like I wanted to quit. Many times I wanted to quit because I'm like, I'm not even getting sales consistently. Like, I'd probably get one sale a week, two sales a week, zero sales a month. Like, it was it was that bad. Um, and there's just a lot of growth I had to go through. And now, this is what my brand looks like. This is the website, the Instagram. Um, this is what my logo looks like. And it's a lot better. And it's just, a it's like a clear representation of the vision I had in my head out in like real life in reality so i'm gonna talk to you guys about how i got from here to there um so the first thing that i really had to focus on which i think is probably the most important thing out of everything that like i've learned and you guys i learned all of this from youtube google educating myself i do not have a business degree i'm studying communications that is my major but this is what i've learned from educating myself so the first thing is um knowing who your target audience is so with my business before i didn't really have a clear target audience um i was like yeah okay i'm gonna sell to like people you know who are like you know around my age so like 18 to like 25 um but then the products i was selling didn't really cater to that age range um i sold a lot of pendants i sold a lot of jewelry that had little charms on them and it wasn't i wasn't selling products to my target audience i was selling products to people i feel who are younger like teens maybe like 14 to 17 14 to 16 that was kind of like my target audience then um and it definitely wasn't correlating with my vision so with my new brand i really educated myself on how do i target like how do i get my target audience to like see my brand and what i had to focus on was i literally made an avatar in my head of like my ideal like customer so i was like okay it's gonna be a female because majority of my audience is female so okay female she's like 20 um you know most 20 year olds are either in school or they're working a part-time job so money is not always you know as accessible so i wanted to really focus on affordability with my brand that was like number one thing and then i had to realize okay what does someone that age like want to wear and like what are they into so i'm like okay clothing like clothing is like something a lot of teens are into a lot of young adults are into i'm um, looking fashionable that's something that's very in so i made sure to incorporate that in my brand like i had to think of like literally specific details like where's this person gonna shop what like what are they doing in their free time like they're probably on social media they're probably hanging out with friends like you have to really get down to the nitty-gritty and that helped me so much more to target my audience um because now i have this avatar in my head and I, every time i'm posting i'm thinking of like this avatar and like how they're gonna react when they see my post so i had to make content that was correlating with my target audience um you know if you are selling products and your target audience is someone who's like in their 30s or in their in their 40s you want to make sure your website is looking very professional very elegant um you know if you're catering to mothers you want to include something that mothers can relate to so for my brand i make sure like everything was bold i wanted the the font the the um the logo to be bold i didn't want cursive i didn't want like my jewelry is not 
it's elegant but it's not like dainty it's very much bold jewelry that makes a statement so i wanted to make sure my logo was bold and everything was just cohesive in that sense and that really helped me um grow my business the next thing was brand presence you guys <laughs> brand presence is like it's so important like like it's it's so important so um this is what my instagram looked like before yeah that's what it looked like before and then this is what my instagram looks like now it's not exactly how i want it to be but it's definitely a lot better than what it once was and so i made sure um that my instagram was not just me promoting my product it wasn't just oh you guys are having a sale bye 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 i wanted to make sure i was giving some value and some quality content to my customers so on my feed now if you guys want another video on how i do all this i can but on my feed now i try to incorporate like a mixture of text a mixture of outfit and like outfit inspos um product pictures all of that so that it kind of creates this whole like cohesive brand identity um so i like to put text so that way i can educate my customers whether that's like how to measure your ring size or you know what is what are what are our products made of um i'll even you know insert like if i'm doing an announcement i will write a text announcement and that way it's easier for my customers to read it and it's always on my instagram page um you know also giving tips on how to clean your jewelry like things like that really help helped me grow my brand and it helped me make my brand look as cohesive as possible um so yeah that thing that i think is very important making sure everything is looking as good as it can be for all of my my instagram stuff i will use pictures my customers send me or i'll take pictures myself and i also use pictures from pinterest like for inspiration outfit pictures and then i'll also use canva for all of my graphics and these are all free apps you do not need a subscription so they're free for you guys to use so you guys can get your instagram to be looking amazing next thing that i think really helped me with my brand and my relaunch and everything was packaging you guys my packaging looked like this before i would put them in like a little um organza bags and then i have my thank you cards first of all my thank you cards my business cards whatever you want to call it not cohesive with my brand they were not cute i mean i had to start somewhere but like i don't think that really went with my brand at all um so i completely changed my packaging this is what all of my items come in now they come in their own little box and when you open it the products come layered like that and i really like the idea of putting them in a box because i figured i can put more than one item in here like I could put, this is like four items in here. I could put more than, one, more than one item and people can reuse the box. They can store their jewelry in the box. So it has a multi-purpose um, and it just helps with the overall consumer's like experience. Like when you're opening the product, you want the customer to be like, wow, like this is amazing. Like the quality, the presentation is amazing. And me personally, I love giving gifts. Like I'm just like a very giving person. So I wanted to make sure my packaging reflected that. And I wanted it to almost feel like a little present every time someone opened it. Um, then I changed my thank you cards. So now I got these really nice big cards. Again, changed my logo so it's all cohesive. Um, and then on the back, I'm just covering the discount code. Um, it just has a little thank you note. And I think it's a lot more cohesive with my brand and everything. Um, I also made instruction cards for my packaging. I have to redesign these so they match my current theme but these are just instruction cards and they basically tell you how to care for your jewelry which i think is super super important if you are selling jewelry just because sometimes people don't know um you know how to take care of it and how to extend the life period of their items so i think this is important it's very cheap this is like 11 dollars for 100 from vista print this is a flyer template and they're just little thin cards um and then I also got tape from Sticker Mule for my boxes to just add a little extra something. And then these go on my poly mailers. It just has my brand logo on them. So branding and packaging is very, very important because you want someone, you know, if they're scrolling on Instagram or scrolling on TikTok or whatever, and they see, you know, bold letters or they see your color, um, your your theme colors, your brand colors, they're like, oh, that's so-and-so or oh that's living lavish like i already know so you want to really make 
an impact with your branding. You want your customers to have a great, you know, a great experience opening their product. You know, you want them to be able to um, take a picture and post on Instagram and tag you. And then, you know, that way their followers can see your brand and you're getting more, expo more exposure that way because of how nice your packaging looks. Um, so I think that's very important as well. The last thing that really helped my brand grow was social media. So before I did my whole rebrand, I was only on Instagram and I didn't really, I mean, I tried posting a lot, but like it wasn't really there. Um, so now I try to post at least three times a day on my Instagram. And you guys, let me tell you, if you do not have a TikTok yet for your business account, please make one. Um, I made a TikTok account for my business page and I feel like I get a lot and a lot of exposure there. I post a bunch, like I do not care. Like I will post like three, five, six times a day, like whenever I can, because even if it's one person seeing that video, that's one person who was exposed to your brand or, you know, a hundred people that were exposed to your brand. So, you know, keeping people informed, you know, keep, keep posting, telling people, hey, I'm here. Like, you know, like, look at this. It's really important and creating a relationship with your customers. I love all my customers. All my customers are so sweet. Um, you know, I, I, I love it. So, you know, responding to people's comments, any questions people have, I respond to them. Um, and I think social media is a great way to in a, basically advertise your brand without having to spend money on actual ads because personally I've paid for Facebook and Instagram ads in the past and they have not worked. I spent maybe 25 to $30 on an ad and like I wouldn't see any sales from that at all. Whereas social media, I can make sales just by posting about my brand or making a funny video that, you know, other business owners can relate to or, you know, my target market can relate to. So social media is very important. So the next thing that has really, really, really helped my brand um, was branding and just the overall theme. Um, so with my brand before, I did not have a clear color scheme. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. Like the fonts were not the same. Um, colors were not matching. Like my Instagram and my website looked very different. Um, it was just not cohesive, but now I made sure to have the same color palettes. So I have like this like light brown, brown, white, black, and then some more in between. But I make sure it correlates to my website and then to my Instagram. So that everything is cohesive. I make sure I use the same fonts, the same sizing. Like you want to make sure it's all cohesive. So for example, like if you're looking at my business cards and then like my sticker, they have the same fonts, similar colors, then my box, same font. So everything is cohesive everything works together and it just creates a better overall um, experience for your customer and it helps um, people looking on your instagram page to really be intrigued because it shows consistency and it shows that okay like you know what you're doing like you know um but yeah so those are just a couple of my tips on how i helped grow my brand i'm actually going to leave a link of a video that I think is really helpful. Um, it's by Donnie Brown. I think that's her name. I'll leave the link below, but her video is amazing. Really love them. She also had like a, I don't know if it's still going on, but it was like a free um, like webinar or like a free um, coaching thing. And it's like an hour long, like voice, voice memo, but that she has, but that really helped me as well. Um, so I would recommend watching her videos for, you know, inspiration and help when it comes to growing your business. Um, and I'll, again, I'm leaving all of my website information down below. I'm leaving a discount code for you guys if you guys, you know, want to purchase something and support my business. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. And I'm going to be filming more very soon. And I'm going to be doing more like vlog styles, what I do in a day type videos. Um, and if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave a comment down below. I will be happy to answer any questions you guys have or any video suggestions you guys have. So I will see you guys, bye.